To access a complete list of deposits or to make a new deposit, go to Banking from the main menu at the top and then select Manual Deposits List. You will need to make manual deposits if you use the Group with Other Undeposited Funds account to hold all payments received throughout the day to deposit at a later point in time. If you deposit all sales or payments directly to your checking account, then you will not need to make manual deposits to deposit funds received from your customers. To create a new deposit, right-click in the list and select New Deposit. You will be alerted that you have undeposited funds. Select the bank account that you want to deposit the funds to. Enter in an entry number or a deposit memo if you'd like. Click the Payments button to view your undeposited funds. Total Office Manager will show you the date of the Receive Payment or Sales Receipt, the type, Payment for Receive Payment, or Receipt for Sales Receipt, the Transaction Number, the Payment Method, the Customer that you received the payment from, the Amount of the Payment Received, and the card type if the payment method was credit card. You can select specific payments and receipts that you want to deposit or click the Select All button to select all payments and sales receipts. Once you've completed selecting your payments, click Close. As you can see, everything that I've selected is now in the deposit form. Verify your deposit amount, your subtotal, and total. If you need to use the cash back, click the drop down to select the account that the cash goes to and enter the cash back amount. You may use the cash goes to for any fees that are withheld from a deposit. If you're unsure how to use the cash back feature, or what that might be used for, contact your accountant for advice on how to use the cash back feature. Once you've completed filling out the deposit, you can print an actual deposit slip, which will give you a summary of each transaction and populate fields with the deposit entry if you're using a pre-printed deposit slip. You can also print a deposit summary. Click OK to save and close the deposit when you're finished. For more information about manual deposits, Click F1 to read the help topic on deposits.